Hello guys, Sajid is here with a new video and this is the fourth video of our drop zone series. In this video, we will work on a very common issue that most of the developers has reported on GitHub. The issue is how to add files manually to drop zone. The solution of this issue is very simple and we will work on it in this video. Okay, so let's start the video. In this video, I will follow this article and the link of this article is given in the description of this video. Okay, first I need to add this event to our view drop zone component. Event is attached with this function. As view drop zone mounted, it will call this function, this v mounted function. Now let's copy and paste this function from the article. I paste this function here. Before explaining this function, I want to test the code. So I visit this local URL. As you can see, the image is manually attached and everything is working fine. In our V mounted function, we have only three lines of code. And uh, these three lines are read by next tick function. This first variable holds the properties of the file which we want to add manually like size and type etc. Here I am using static values but you should calculate them dynamically. This URL variable stores the, the URL of my file and uh, this third line adds the file manually to drop zone. If you don't know what this next tick method does then you can read this thread on stack workflow. The link of this thread is also available in the description of this video. Thank you.